morning kindergartners. Happy, happy Monday. Today's a little early morning message. Miss Fruit has a lot of different things happening today, so we started a little early. So you can tell my hair is still wet, and it's early outside. It's early. Um, let's Yay. get started. Yeah, it's early. Yay. Um, some of you probably aren't even up yet. Let's see. Today is Monday. Say it with me. Monday, April. T oh. 20. It's not the 26th. Mom. I know. Yesterday was the 26th. Please. Today is the 27th. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. Can you point to it? Yeah. Right there, right there. It is Monday. If I go up to the top of the column, I'll see the word Monday. Four How many? Mondays. Four Mondays. Let's count them. One, two, this three. This is the last Monday. Yeah, today's the last Monday. Every row is a week. A week has seven days in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this week, this week is the last week of April. Next week will be the month of June. May. May. May comes right after April. So let's move our sticker as we get towards the very end of April. An abbreviated way to write April 27th, 2020 is 4-27-20. Dash dash what does the 4 represent? Please calm down. Yeah. Nope. The month. 4 represents the month. It's April. April is the 4th month. Next month is May. It will be the 5th month. What does the 27 represent? The, year. Mm -hmm. the, day. the day. The day. And what does the 20 represent? The year. The year. It is 2020 and 20 are the last two digits in 2020. Very nice. On our calendar, we have a pattern. A pattern. Repeats. A pattern. Repeats. What's the pattern? It's Rain cloud, umbrella, rainbow. Rain cloud, umbrella, rainbow. R rain cloud, umbrella, flower. Flower. It repeats after six. It repeats after six. So let's see. We did not go to school on Saturday and Sunday. We never do. So Friday was a flower. What always comes after the flower? It is a rain Excuse me. We're right here. What always comes after the flower? Rain cloud. Rain cloud. Umbrella. And then an umbrella. And then today is going to be a... Um, good rainbow day. Rainbow. And what always comes after a rainbow? Tomorrow is going to be... A rain cloud. Rain cloud. And then an umbrella. And then the last day is a flower. The last day is going to be a flower. And then we'll have a new pattern for May. Very nice. Let's go ahead and look out the window and check the weather. Um, go ahead and look out the window. Go ahead and tell us, Tubby, what's the weather today? It's super... It's partly cloudy. Mm -hmm. Um, no, the clouds are going to the sun. So it's part. It's cloudy and sunny. Yeah. Sort of in between. And what's your evidence? How do you know? Because the clouds are going to the sun, and the sun's going. To what the does sky. the sky look like? What does the sky look like? It's blue. Uh huh. And I see some clouds. Uh -huh. Some gray so clouds. So it's sunny and cloudy. Could you fill in one for cloudy and one for sunny? Yeah, we're we'll having uh, 11. Yeah, 11. 11 cloudy, 11 sunny. We're, we're even right now. They are the same. And we don't put it on here because we do our morning message, morning meeting early in the morning. But many days, the last couple of days have been rainy, haven't they? In fact, when I woke up this morning, I woke up very early and I could hear the rain. So we have had some rainy days, even though this graph does not show it, there have been several rainy days, right? As this weekend had a lot of rain. All right, so the weather in April, what's the weather in April like? It is 11 sunny. We would say- Let's Say it again, 11 sunny and 11- 11... Cloudy. Yeah. So yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. The same. It's cloudy and sunny. You never know if it's gonna be cloudy or sunny. How many days have we been at home? It is 48. 48. 48 is how many oh, ones? No. 48 is how many ones? Eight. Eight. And how many groups of 10? Four. One, two, three, four. Where's 48 on our chart? Uh-huh. How? What's yeah. one way to count to 48? Uh, let's see. By one. ones. What's another way to count to 48? Mm -hmm. By twos, yep. It fits the pattern. 42, 44, 46, 48. It fits that pattern. What else? Can we count by fives? Tens. Oh, tens. What do we start on when we count by tens? 
We go down the column. Yeah. Each row is 10 more, 10 more, 10 more. We know that it's 10 more because the digit in the ones place is the, the same. Mom? Yes. Tomorrow's going to be 49. Tomorrow's going to be 49. So we can't do any jumping. Okay, yeah. Today's the last day to do 40, 48. Miss Root, it's 48 years old. Today's the last day to jump. Should we jump to 48? Yeah. By ones? Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to jump to 48 by ones. Hey, Tevia, what number do we start on when we uh, count by ones? What is it? One. One jump, one count, one to one correspondence. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Almost there. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Yay, we made it. Counting by twos. What are we going to do with our body to count by twos? What should we do? Opposite hand, opposite knee. Should we reach the ceiling? Wait, what should we Reach do? to the sky. Reach to the sky, counting by twos. What number do we start on when we're counting by twos? Two. Two. The clue is in the question. Here we go. You ready? One. Oh, I forgot to start on two. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Last one, counting by tens. Starting at eight, what are we gonna do with our body? Wavy man. Wavy man. Let's practice it first. You ready to practice? Yeah. Eight, 18, 28, 38, 48. Or we could keep going. 58, 68, 78, 88, 98. All right. Wave your man. Get your wave hands up. Here we go. 8, 18, 28, 38, 48. Let's keep going. 58, 68, 78, 88, 98. Very nice. Very nice and done. All right. Let's turn our message wave. around. 98. 98. What will come after 98? 108. 108. Very good. All right. We have three new sight words this week. These are our sight words. We have the first one is people, could, and way. People. People has a wonky ear. This is a wonky word. I call people a wonky word. If I were to sound it out, I would say it's piapoli. Piapoli? Piapoli? No, it's people. It's just people. Let's spell it. P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. People. We have the sight word could, which rhymes with would, and has our wonky O unit. Could, not cowed. Could. C-O-U-L-D. Could you please uh, take this pen and put it in the basket? Could. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yay. Our last sight word is way. Way. Spell it with me. W-A-Y, way. It has a letter pair in it. Lots of letter pairs in our set words today. A-Y, A-Y. Do you know the way to the store? Do you know the way to your house? Yes. Which way do we go? Right or left? Way. Letter pairs are two letters that come together and make a new sound. My favorite. T-H, let me see it. It's not, is it? Stick out that tongue. S-H is my silent shh. C H ch 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 W H just like a W. A R is the pirate. R the pirates of roommate. Our sama and our harm. R. Uh, we're gonna go down here. I didn't have a chance to move my letter pair, so let's go here and do our C K. C K is a k and a k and a k k k. 
O-R. Is it a sight word or a letter pair? Like Morgan. Is Morgan a sight word or a letter pair? Wait, Mom. Can you do the top one? I'm going to do that in a minute. Morgan. Is O-R a sight word or a letter pair in his uh, name? Letter pair. Letter pair. Letter pair. We have this group. Look, I put a... A rectangle around it because these three letter pairs all have the same sound. We have E R I R U R E R mother brother sister father Ebenezer Alexander Oliver Er I R like a bird is Er and U R like a turtle is Er A Y A I R A's I like to play every day and say A A Y. A-I is rain. A, 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 A. E, E, and E, A, R, E. E, E is I'm free to see the trees with Shawnee. And E, A is read, like read or eat. I like to eat, eat, eat everything I read, read, read. Is that right? Yeah. No, read. E, A is an E sound. O U and O W are owls. O U ow and O W is my owl eyes. Ow. E W and O O are oo. E W ew broccoli stew ew for the money not for you. And O O Rudy toot toot oo 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 oo. O I and O Y are oi. O I oi you boy. O Y O Y oi boy boy boy. Oi you boy. And, oh, and Portuguese, oi is hello. Yeah, in Portuguese, oi, oi is hello. So oh. in Portugal, you wouldn't say, oi, give me your toy. You'd say, oi, how are you doing? I-N-G is my word chunk. E. I like to sing. I like to swing in the spring with my ring and sing ing. I-G-H has a wacky G-H. It's just wacky. It just shows up and does wacky things. It makes this chunk say, I. S at the end of the word can mean more than one. Y at the end of the word can be an I sound, like fly, 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 fly. Or E like a baby. E-D at the end of the word means it happened in the past. We have a D sound, like, hmm, what's a good D sound? It happened. We have a T sound, it can have a T sound, like I picked, I picked, that book picked. Or an ed sound. It also can have an ed sound, like painted. I painted on Friday. Wonky E just it's shows up and does nothing at the end of the word. But a silent E makes the middle vowel say its name. name. Say my name, say my name. And the E is silent. All right, good readers, read the parts to read the words. You we have a long... do the vowels. Oh, let's do the vowels. A-E-I-O-U. A-E-I-O-U. a e i o u a e E I O U. These are the vowels of the alphabet. Good readers, read the parts to read the words. So I have some long words here. Let's go through and find some of those long words before we read our message. Yeah, I see a T H right there. That's right. But let's look up here. We have our sight words it and is. But then we have this one. I see the sight word in. I'm going to go three in t. T E R er in ter. Let's see, I see an ing at the end, ing. So inter, what's that first sound? Eh, eh, est. Inter, est, ing. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go down here. I see this word. D get your mouth ready. Diff, diff, what? fur, ent. Differ, went. different, different. And then I see a couple words that are long that I'm just going to have to sound out, like this one. Get your mouth ready for that T-H. Ink. Think. Think. And I see this one. You guys know we have a th, an ing and a s. Ings. Ings. Things. Things. And look down here. I see I have a r and I have my I-G-H. R. I. I. Right, right. Very nice. All right, good readers. Uh, look for what they know. And then they're going to read it three no. times, three times to make it as smooth as possible. So we've broken up those words. Now we're going to go back and look for what we know as we read our message, okay? 
what you know could be your snap words. It could be first sounds. First sounds. It could be wonky E's. It could be letter pairs. Okay. Letter pairs. There we go. First line, I see sight word it no, is. No, we need to read it. We're reading it right now. You ready? It is. Oh, here's my word that I broke up. In. Ter. Est. In. Ink. To. Ink. Think. Ink. Of. The. Different. Oh, there's my sight word way. Way with an S. Ways, ways, sight word people. People can do things. Non, non, none, none are, sight word are, oh, this was a hard one. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That W is actually silent. Wrong. Sight word all of sound it out with me. Them them are oh there's my word chunk. R it right. Ooh, let's read it again. This time a little smoother. Here we go. Pointers up. It is interesting to think of the different ways people can do things. None are wrong. All of them are right. One more time. This time as smooth as possible so our brain can start to understand what this message is saying. It is interesting to think of the different ways people can do things. None are wrong. All of them are right. Hmm, what is one way people do things different? What is one thing we all do that we all do different? Like, some of us play video games and some of us don't. Like what we like to play with, yeah. So, for example, if I like to play with Legos and you like to play with dolls. No plans for sit down there. Okay, is it wrong? Do you do it wrong or do I do it wrong? No one does it wrong. No one does it wrong. Right? All of them are right. Yeah. What about, I was thinking about getting dressed in the morning. Right? When I get dressed in the morning, I put on my pants first. But some people put on their shirt first. Right? I put my shirt on first. Yeah. So, are you wrong or am I wrong? None of us. None of us are wrong. We do it different ways, but none are wrong. All of them are right. Right? We end up getting dressed, don't we? Mm -hmm. Right? All right. Let's go ahead and see what we see. Let's go to the first line. Look, here's our clues. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth line. We have six lines here. We have a lot going on in this message. It. How do we spell it? Spell it with me. I T it. I T is. Let's spell it. I S is. Interesting. Interesting. Spell it with me. I N T E R E S T I N G. What do you see in there? It's an I-N-G. I-N-G word chunk. What else do you see? It is a turtle. E-R. E-R. E-R is like mother and brother. Turtle would be a U-R. You see E-R. Second line. I see the sight word two. two. Spell it with me. T-O-2. Think. T-H-I-N-K. What do you see in there? T-H letter pair. Did. Sight word of. Spell it with me. F. O. F. F. Of. Sight word the. Spell it, it with me. It does T H E the. What it, letter pair? It does the T H. T H. Third line different. Different. Spell different with me. D I F F E R E N T. Oh. Different. I see a letter pair right in the middle. It's e R. Er. Ways. I have my sight word ways with an S at the end. So let's spell ways. W A Y S. Oh, an interesting, I forgot. 
interesting has my in at the beginning. Ways. What do you see in ways? It has an S. S at the end. What else? And a A Y. Y. A Y. Very good. It's got my A Y letter pair that makes that A sound. A A A. Sight word people. Sight word people. Not piopoli. Not piopoli. Though I like the sound of piopoli. We are not piopoli. We are people. P E O P L E. What is in that word? It is a E. What kind of E? That is wonky. Wonky. I saw you take that out. Wonky. Like... Next line. Yeah. Fourth line, yeah. can. Sight word can. We could also sound it out. Do it with me. C A N can. Sight word do. How do we spell do? D O. D O do. Things. P H I N G S. Ooh, lots of going on in there. What do you see? T H. Letter pair T H. N I N G. I N G. In the S. S for more than one. Yeah, they're all working hard. They're all working hard to make that a word. We have the word none. None. Spell it with me. N O N E. What kind of E? I hope it's a monkey. Is it making an O sound? Is it known or is it none? It is a wonky. Wonky. Because it's not making that say O. Let's go down here. Oh, I see. It. We have on the fifth line the sight word R. R. Let's go ahead and spell it. A R E. What do you see in there? A R. My pirate R and a wonky E. It's not air. It's not air. It's not an A sound. It's R. Wrong. Let's spell wrong. W R O N G. That W is silent. How do you know this? Isn't that wild? All. All. Sight word all. A L L all. Sight word of. Oh. Sight word of. O F. Yeah, W-R is a letter pair that we're not going to learn yet. You'll learn that more in first grade. It makes a, it's a silent W. It makes a R sound. Six line, them, them, T-H-E-M. What letter pair is in there? It is a T-H. T-H. Sight word R. We have our sight word R. What letter pair do you see in R? A-R. A-R. What else do you see in there? It says a one T. Wonky E, because it's not air, it's R. Wonky E. Last word, our last word is right. Oh, what is right? Let's spell it. R I G H T. What word chunk is in right? It's in the I G H. I G H. I G H. That's a lot to know. That's a lot to know. Lots of words today. Lots of words today. All right, we have two more things to do. Our letter of the week is E. Our letter of the week is E. E is my smiling vowel. It's one of our vowels. We have five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. And E is my smiling vowel because when you make the sound that E makes, eh, you smile. Do it with me. Eh, eh. It's my smiling vowel. I call it my smiling vowel because you have to make your mouth smile. Let's read our book. This is E. There's an uppercase E and a lowercase E. I have two uh, yeah. lowercase E. You have two lowercase e E's in your name. This is E and E. Let's call the enormous elephant show. E uh, enormous means very big. The enormous elephant show. E in sign language is like this. Eh, eh, eh. And who in our class has names that start with E? Yeah, Ella and Yvonne. Ella and Yvonne. Ella has the eh sound and Yvonne has the E sound. E can make two different sounds. It can make an E sound saying its name or an eh sound, my smiling eh, when it says its sound. Elvin the elephant is waiting backstage. To start his show, just turn the page. Let me entertain you. Eh, eh, eh. The enormous elephant show starring Elvin. Eh, eh, eh. Elvin the elephant makes an E out of eels. E, eh, eh, e, e. Elvin the elephant tosses eggplants to seals. See the eggplants? Eh, eh, eh. Elvin the elephant pulls an elk from a hat. There's the elk. Eh, eh, eh. 
Elvin the elephant sends email to his cat. There's email. E e e email. It says hi, Elroy. The cat's name is Elroy. Eh eh eh. Elvin the elephant climbs evergreen trees. These are evergreen trees. Eh eh eh. They stay El green forever. Yeah, all year round. Elvin the elephant eats a mountain of peas. Whoa. Elvin the elephant exercises with a cow exercise. Eh eh. Eh. Elvin the elephant takes an enormous bow. Uh, they're saying encore, 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 encore. Encore means let's do it again. Eh, eh, eh. And the end. End. Eh, eh, eh. All right. Let's go ahead, kindergartners. I'm going to have us go right over here <coughs> to our window. We need to make our chart for E. Now, E, an uppercase E, you're going to take your pen off the page. So get your writing fingers up. We're going to go across. Down, middle across, bottom across. Let's do it again. Across, down, middle across, bottom across. I take my pen off the page three times. One, two, oh, four times. Three, four. Do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Lowercase e, I don't have to take my pen off the paper at all, but I start here in the middle, across and around. Do it with me again. Across and around. Okay. Across and around. The around part is just like making a C. My magical C. What are some E words? Elephant. Elephant. Encore. Encore. Encore means do it again, do it again, more, more, encore. We have Ella is in our class. We have Yvonne. Wait, Mom, you skipped the page in there. Oh, did I? Yeah. I'll have to go back. The cooking. What else? What else are you thinking? There was a cooking one. Oh, what do you like to eat in the morning sometimes? And we did this for Easter. We boiled our... Eggs. Eggs. And Easter. Easter. Really, Mom? Easter. What else? When we had our eggs, we had to eat. eat. And I hated them. Well, you did hate them. Those are some of our E words. What was the name of the ele elephant? Elvin. Elvin. Mm hmm Elvin. What else? Ele if you're really, really big, you're um, enormous. 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 And what are those trees called? Heaven. What are the trees called that never lose their leaves? Evergreen. Evergreen. And uh, the cat's name has an E at the starting. What's our cat's name? Elsa. Elsa. We have a cat named Elsa. <laughs> yeah, and we have a cat named but Elsa starts with a E. So I want you kindergartners to be thinking about more E words. I know there's a lot more. So send them in to me. They might have an E sound or they might have an S sound. But send in um, your E words to me. Email them to me so I will be able to add them to our list. Very nicely done. Last thing we need to do before we end our meeting. Chicken soup with rice. Chicken soup with rice. We only have, looking at our calendar, we only have one, two, three more days in April. So we're only going to do this three more times for April. I wonder what the May poem is going to be like. Let's read it. Yay. I wonder if we'll see any E words in here. In April, I will... I can't hear you. In, in April, I will go away to far off Spain or old Bombay and dream about hot soup all day. Oh my, oh once, oh my, oh twice, oh my, oh chicken soup with rice. No e words. No e words. <laughs> no e words. That's wild. You have a great day, kindergartners, and uh, enjoy the sun if it comes out. See you tomorrow.